Let's do French knots. Come up from the back of your fabric. Take your needle and do a wrap. I like to start with just one because it's easiest. Place your needle really close to where you just came up. Pull so that wrap goes to the base of the needle where it meets the fabric and then push through. What I like to do sometimes is if I have a specific spot, let's say I need the knot right there, I will come up just on the right of it, do my wrap, place my needle right on the left of it, and then pull through and my knot should cover that spot exactly. If you feel good with single wraps, try double wraps. One, two. Pull. And you can see the difference in size. I'll do a triple. Triple's gonna be a little harder, so we're having to one, two, three. <laughs> we're having to pull that needle through more of a wrap. Like that. Also, I've seen some people, and I've used this before too, do kind of messier ones where maybe we don't pull that really didn't work. Um, <laughs> if you make them a little bit looser, I think, maybe don't pull all the way down, that one should work. So see how it's uh, kind of fluffier. It's definitely hard to get a more consistent shape doing something like that. But if you want more messy look and maybe for clouds or something, that would be a good one to do. So just make sure you do, you get that wrap all the way down to the surface of your fabric before you pull through and you should be good. If your needle is um, exceptionally uh, large in the eye, you're going to have a harder time. So having a needle with a smaller eye, the best you can do, um, obviously if you're using six strands, you're going to have to have a, a large enough needle eye to get that through, but make sure it's more of a, a longer eye rather than a fat eye. <laughs> and that's it.